guys, welcome back to some more Motorsport Manager and part 6 of Season 3, no, Season 4. And we're now at Ferrari in the Ice Mod. And I can't believe I'm saying that, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, it's Event 6, it's Cape Town. We are currently in 2nd and 4th in the Drivers' Championship. And in 2nd in the Constructors. So... Yeah, we really are fighting uh, a big battle with Carlos Sainz. Daniel Ricciardo now off to the best start this season, so he might be struggling. I've went ahead and actually uh, invested a lot into the headquarters. We're upgrading pretty much every building. We're wanting to take this championship seriously. We're going to try and win it. Um, we've got plenty of money in the bank, which is good. And, yeah, we've got some good parts on the car. We've got another rear wing coming uh, in the foresee well in the near future we're going to change these wings to white when we get the first opportunity and yeah it's quite hilarious looking at some of the sponsors now like red bull um in there uh google sponsoring ferrari which uh, i guess could happen but red bull sponsoring them i don't think so um but anyway let's uh, have a look at the team i have swapped uh, the drivers round i have swapped Antonio Giovinazzi with Lance Stroll. It might make not a lot of sense with him in fourth in the championship, but I don't think Stroll's going to win the championship from that position. So I thought, bring Giovinazzi in. I think he's a better um, team driver. I really don't know why he was um, sort of dropped the last time, uh, or dropped at the end of last season anyway. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. Uh, we've got good finances, got good staff. Very good staff. We've got the nurse uh, ability and hopefully the sweetest spots once. Um, the Him and Giovinazzi have, have had a bit of uh, alone time, shall we say. But uh, interestingly, Kimi Raikkonen has got another 19 months on his contract. So he's basically got till the end of next year, which would mean he would be 40 um, at the end of that season. We'll see how this season goes for Kimi. Uh, we might break his contract at the end of the season and try and bring in a, a younger driver, maybe even promote Lance Stroll up into that second driver position. But you never know what's going to happen. And let's get into the Grand Prix. They're both happy with their cars. It's the first time I've seen that uh, in quite some time, to be quite honest with you. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Our first race with Ferrari, our first race in a really competitive team. Um, it's certainly going to be... Uh, an interesting one this uh the rest of this season you know we're, we're just looking to compete in the championship hopefully win the constructors uh and then next season is going to be where we're really really pushing to try and dominate the championship and bring back the years of schumacher uh which you know might bring us on uh mick schumacher why not bring him into the team try and uh recreate that i mean f feedback is terrible from kimmy right and why don't we let them to have uh, practice because we're simulating anyway it's not going to make too much difference we'll simulate that session get some good feedback on the car and uh yeah hopefully get some some good pace out of the car this weekend um we're looking good in practice i think it's going to be the first time we're really pushing for pole in in quali um, I've already got level 3 on ultra soft and qualifying trim. This is what I've been wanting for years at Force India. Uh, level 2, uh, we might even get to level 3 in the race. Wow, look at that. This is this is great stuff from uh, them too. Some great knowledge in that session. Hopefully we've got some good uh, setup knowledge as well. So, Giovinazzi 4th, Lance Stroll 5th. How are Force India doing our boys? Lewis Hamilton and Sergio Perez have continued with. I should have swapped. Uh, Fernando back over, shouldn't I? But, uh, you know, I've probably destroyed Fernando's career now. Never mind. But, yeah. Qualifying is about to get underway. We've got the qualifying trim and the ultra soft uh, knowledge, which is good. Uh, and we'll also have a look at the car setup. And they're not happy. They are not happy. Um. Uh, I mean, that's probably about the best we'll get. So, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Sort of go for the middle of the... Uh, middle of the road. 25. We'll move that down to 17. 
um, move that up and there we go I think that's a, a much better setup already um, they've got much smaller windows of oh we've got a couple of excellence in there keep an eye on on that uh, let's go 18 28 and look at this so he wants speed about there I think oh perfect and then he wants that sort of was it there oh no it wasn't I beg you, I beg your pardon Kimmy uh, I never heard you the first time <laughs> Yeah, we'll do that. I think that that's going to be a good setup for Kimmy. Let's get them out there in Q1. This is certainly going to be fun. Uh, we'll send Giovinazzi out first. He, he needs to get back used to the car um, after sitting out the first few races of the season. Quite harsh, I think, on them two. Uh, we'll go on auto. We'll see how Force India do as well in this session without our stewardship. Um, see if they do any better or any worse I'm expecting that they'll be about the same I don't think I'm going to have too much impact on the teams but hopefully what what we can do, what we've done is actually shifted the reliability focus uh, all the way to the other side the performance of the car is very good of course, it's a Ferrari so um, we need to focus on the reliability and then we can push more in the race, that's the idea um, but we'll keep an eye on uh, Antonio Giovinazzi as he goes throughout this lap. We're not expecting Kimi to be quicker than him, but he might well be. We might have got the setup slightly wrong. Kimi Raikkonen is a lot quicker in that first sector than Antonio Giovinazzi. So, hmm, interesting start of this. Kimi Raikkonen a lot quicker so far. Here comes Giovinazzi. Coming up to the line now, he's going to set the first time a 1082. Raikkonen does a 1077. Can anybody compete? Sainz Jr., two tenths slower. So Kimmy's got a, a good setup beneath him, and maybe we can reinvigorate his career. But first and fourth at the moment is not too bad. Uh, let's watch Lewis Hamilton in the Force India. How's he doing? He's not looking too bad, and he's now coming through. The final turn, Hamilton goes fifth. What a lap that is from Hamilton. Perez, what's he going to do in his Force India car? He's not doing quite as well on the lap as Hamilton was, and Perez goes 12th. So there you go, Hamilton uh, will finish fifth. I don't think anybody else is going to improve because the rain has come down quite heavily here. Yeah, so, yeah, very, very interesting start of this weekend. You know, do we go out there on the, the, the super soft tyres in, in session two and try and get a bit of an advantage strategically? Um, yeah, his setup's not looking good, but I bet you Kimmy's is... Uh, it's not... It's not anything special, is it? Um, yeah, I think he wants more like that, to be honest with you. Uh, if we do that. Uh, you know what? We'll send them out there just to get the setup saved. Uh, what about Giovinazzi? What can we do with him? Yeah, we'll go a little bit more. Um, do something like that for him, maybe. I'm out on the int as. Uh, what we'll do after this lap though is save Kimi Raikkonen and set up because uh, I imagine it's going to be quite good. Um, and then we'll decide on what to, what to do from there. So yeah, he's got the tyres in the perfect range. He's obviously going to be slower. Um, we'll just bring him in, actually. Um, yeah, bring them both in. So, yeah, Kimi Raikkonen's the number two driver here, and the other two are reserve drivers. What sort of nonsense is that? Um, but, 
we can, we can surely change the contract stuff in the next couple of years. It's it's the way it works. But uh, yeah, we'll let this session end, and I'll be back with you for Q2. Here we are. Then Q2 is going to be underway. Uh, we'll send Kimmy out first this time, and he has got a perfect setup. We will save this setup. Um, I'm sending straight out there, and we may well load it up for good old um, what's his face <laughs> Giovanazzi see if he enjoys that anymore so yeah set him on to auto I'm stroll to it in a while to change uh, his car but here we go just out ahead of the Mercedes which is good but we'll keep an eye on Kimi Reich and then obviously he was the the pace setter in the first lap which was good I've noticed this is a bit of a glitch um, sometimes the timings aren't resetting but uh, that's fine it's absolutely fine so Kimi Reich then coming through the first sector we'll see if this setup is any quicker uh, than the last one. Science Junior going slightly quicker in Sector 1. How are we going to do in Sector 2? We're coming round now. Set purple for now. And well, Science Junior is going a bit quicker, but that's what we expect. Kimmy right in coming through with a 108 flat, which is actually slower than he's done previously. What about Giovinazzi? He's coming through now. Is he going to match his teammate? He comes through and goes third. So. Yeah, they're virtually on the same setup, um, and they've finished third and fourth there. We're not going to waste any more tyres in Q2, because um, we will be through. Hamilton's gone eighth. What about Perez? What can he do? Perez coming through the final turn now. Where's he going to go? He goes twelfth, so it looks like Perez is going to miss out on Q3 once again. Uh, Van Dorn. How's he doing? He goes 15th. Um, yeah, Hamilton just off the pace of Bottas in the Red Bull. So Hamilton not doing too bad for Force India so far. Um, yeah, we're looking to make inroads uh, in Q3. I'll see you for Q3 when we inevitably get through. So that's the end of Q2, then we finish 3rd and 4th. What I did notice though is Sebastian Vettel went 2nd in the McLaren. What a lap that must have been from him. And well, going out in Q2 we've got Gasly, Castroneves, Perez, Kvyat and Van Dorn. But that Vettel lap baffles me. It really does. Now Kimi Räikkönen was uh, 3 tenths quicker in uh, P1, uh, Q1. So... Yeah, we might put him on that set up to do his last lap, if you like. Uh, we'll send him out there now um, on the optimum setup. And send Giovinazzi out on the same setup because he seemed to like it, to be honest with you. He seemed to like it. We'll see if we can get pole position. First real legitimate pole position of the series um, the other ones have been in changeable conditions and where drivers have went out in Q2, Q1 whatever, we've never done it on pure dry pace so this is our first chance to do that and well, Kimi Raikkonen is the first man that's going to get that opportunity and he comes out ahead of whoever that car is, I'm really not sure but Giovinazzi's caught behind it so it'll be interesting to see Sector 1. Giovinazzi is actually going quicker in Sector 1. Um, now then, Q Sector 2. Kimi Raikkonen not going as quickly as Giovinazzi. So Kimi Raikkonen's going to come through, set the fastest time for now. But Giovinazzi comes through and goes two tenths quicker. But science has pipped him to the post. That's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. But with second and third, Vettel is nowhere. I don't know where he got that lap from in Q2. That's baffling. Absolutely baffling. Uh, what about Hamilton? Where can he go? He's on used set. So, but he goes fifth. He goes fifth. 
on used uh, Ultrasoft. So that's a brilliant lap again from Hamilton. Out qualifying both the Red Bulls. Uh, he's obviously doing something right. Goodness me. And if he bolts on a, a new way, well, he won't. He won't bolt on a new set. That's a shame. Uh, we'll send Kimmy out there. We're actually going to put him on to this setup here, um, which was a little bit quicker for him over the weekend, and see exactly what he can do. Uh, we're going to send Giovinazzi out there again, see if he can improve on his time. And they've gone out there pretty much together, which is a little bit of a mistake, I guess, but uh, we'll hopefully give Giovinazzi a little bit of a tour with Kimi. Uh, and help Giovinazzi find that extra half a tenth that he's missed out on Paul for on his return. But it would be a good result to out-qualify Kimi um, in the first race. Uh, his first race of the season. So here comes Kimi Raikkonen. Starting his lap. He already looks much slower than Giovinazzi. Um, Giovinazzi going quicker again by three tenths. Goodness me, where's he getting this time from? He's gone down the inside of Kimi Raikkonen. This is this is not helping us. But Giovinazzi is going so quickly. And he comes through now. And he takes Paul by six tenths of a second. He's probably ruined uh, Kimi Raikkonen's lap there. But, I mean, uh, uh, he did improve on that time. Uh, but Giovinazzi has put in an immense lap and he's now said, go on, Carlos Sainz, beat that. And Carlos Sainz probably will, to be fair. So here we go. Carlos Sainz starts his lap. We'll keep an eye on him as he goes through his lap. Uh, Ricardo improving as well. Carlos Sainz well off the pace in the first sector. Uh, third sector is probably where he's got his best chance to make time up for Stappen goes fourth. Uh, science is nowhere. Science isn't going to do it. Um, surely Hamilton's not going to improve on his time either. So Carlos Science does improve, um, but he only goes second, and nobody else is going to compete. So Antonio Giovinazzi has absolutely blew away the field with that lap. Don't know where he got it from, but uh, he went for it and has took pole position by six and a half tenths of a second. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen will start in third, two tenths off Carlos Sainz, who f starts second. Hamilton starts in seventh for Force India, so that's quite good to see, but both Red Bulls managing uh, to pull out uh, a time over him in that final run, but Hamilton wasn't using fresh tyres, so how much can he give in the race? That is the question. Uh, Vettel couldn't replicate his Q2 time, um, which, as you can see, would have been good enough for 4th in Q3 so that's very interesting but let's get into the race it's going to be a good one I think uh, is it raining? yeah it looks like it is raining a little bit um, and it is going to get a lot worse before it gets better so I think we, we're, we're going to start on the um, intermediate tyres do we go on uh, I'm really not sure. Um, yeah, I think I think start on the wets. I think that's what's gonna help us out until about lap six, and then yeah, like we're not gonna get off to the best start, but uh, we should be fine after that. So you can start on that. You can start on that. And the driving strategy will go attack, attack, attack. Let's get into the race. Here we go. Looking forward to this. First and third are Ferrari's start. How can we do in our first Grand Prix? Antonio Giovinazzi on pole. Lights out. Oh, here we go. Antonio Giovinazzi off to a great start. Kimi Raikkonen bogs down on the first lap. Uh, we're the only car on wet tyres at the moment so we're looking to certainly forge a, a lead over Carlos Sainz through this first sector although Giovinazzi has been pushed wide and he's now down to 5th, 6th, 7th Giovinazzi not doing too well we're going to go down to medium, medium 
this isn't our lap to do well in. It's going to be the next couple of laps. We're down to 15th and 20th at the moment, and it seems crazy. We are losing a huge chunk of time, but that track is getting wetter, and by next lap, it's going to get even worse. Um, but we are 19th and 20th as it stands, which isn't good. Granted. Um, but somebody has already come into the pits to change onto the wet tyres, so hopefully, hopefully things will improve. And it, it is getting wetter and wetter. Is our pace improving? I feel like we've already lost all of the time that we would have gained um, by by uh, by having the wet tyres. We, we just I didn't expect the start to be as bad as it was. Um, but people are in the pits now. Um, we are up to 8th and 9th uh, because of our strategy we didn't have to oh Giovinazzi's crashed what on earth was that so the pole sitter's out I can't believe that that's so annoying uh, so Kimi Raikkonen is our sole hope in the race now. Safety car is out as well, which allows everybody to come into the pits. We're not going to pit. Um, we'll come out ahead of Gasly. Um, I mean, I guess staying out there on intermediates might make a little bit of sense. But we'll move this down to low and low. As it's safety car conditions, I can't believe Carlos Sainz has gone and done, um, Giovinazzi has gone and done that. Hamilton in third at the moment, Perez in twelfth. Um, you know, it's wet conditions. It, it it happens sometimes. That's motorsport, I guess. Um, but looking at the conditions, you know, maybe we could have come in and changed to the intermediates. Maybe that would have been the best scenario, although it is going to get dry in the not too distant future, so we'll see how this lap goes. We are going to uh, go on uh, push and high and see exactly what we can do. As the safety car is in, and it's now. Daniel Ricciardo controlling the pace. Anybody going to come into the pits? Doesn't look like it. Um, Hamilton's took the lead of the Grand Prix on his intermediate tyres. Who's that? That's Palmer. Palmer into the lead of the Grand Prix. What's going on here? I don't know how Palmer had such a boost there. Um, but now, Kimi Raikkonen closing in on Palmer. Having a look around the outside uh, it's not quite going to happen and Verstappen's now made the move for the lead I can't believe Kimmy's letting this go to be quite honest with you Kimmy should we, we should be passing Jolien and Max here and we're past Max Verstappen can we get past Jolien Palmer though Jolien Palmer leading the race leading the Grand Prix can you believe it um, I'm going to go to medium tyre wear uh, I mean Palmer's controlling the pace he's not just leading the race he's controlling it this is ridiculous but now Kimi Reichner has a chance and he does go down the inside and he is through this time um, we are going to go a couple of more laps though, and then put on the soft tyres because it has stopped raining now. Kimi Raikkonen leading the Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel up to second. Um, I'm imagining people will come into the pits. Interestingly, none of them actually pitted. None of them actually pitted. Very, very interesting. Uh, yellow flag. Uh, Castro Neves has uh, crashed. Um, so that's an interesting one. We'll conserve the tyres for this next lap for Kimi Raikkonen because Vettel has come into the pits um, we are going to pit and put on got 9 laps to go those will be pushing it I think if we go on to the super softs 
we can push the car a bit more. So, yeah. Giovanazzi, I can't believe he crashed. So annoying. We'll keep an eye on Kimi Raikkonen, who's uh, in the lead, but probably struggling compared to everybody on intermediate tyres. Um, he's going to come in on this lap, though, and see what he can do on the super softs. Oh, as a mistake, for goodness sake. And he's away, and we are well behind Vettel. 20 seconds behind Vettel, goodness me. Vettel pitted at the right time. And Kimmy's going to struggle to get... Oh, somebody else has crashed now. Goodness me, did you see that? Um, We'll push the tyres. Yeah, we'll go in overtake while uh, we've got fresh tyres here. So here we go. We've got a bit of clean air. We're up to 8th. But things have gone a little bit wrong today, I think it's fair to say. Just sort of, maybe we were on the wrong tyres to start with and, yeah, we took control in the, in the sort of second part of the race. Perez is in, in second, by the way. Uh, just thought I'd point that out. He's made his final pit stop. Perez is in a good position. Vettel leading the race. Hulkenberg up in third. We're sixth. Um, and we are, you know, closing down the leader, but not at a rate that'll see us win the win the race at this rate. Uh, Hamilton in seventh. Probably going a little bit quicker than us at the moment. Uh, Going to move that down to medium. Just try and look after the tyres a little bit. So sixth place, uh, struggling to stay ahead of Lewis Hamilton, which is a bit of a shame. I don't think this would have happened with me at Force India, but that's what happens, isn't it? Uh, so Ferrari coming through now, at the Ferrari, right then coming through, and he's now up to fifth. The Stappen struggling for some reason. I don't quite know why. Sainz Junior just ahead of us, but he's on the ultra soft, so he's probably in the best position in this race. And he has just made a move for third place over Nico Hulkenberg, yellow flag. Because um, Julian Palmer, the former leader of the race, has crashed. Uh, and we're now up to fourth. We're hopefully going to be pushing on Sergio Perez soon. Um, who always seems to manage to get podiums out of these sort of races uh, in real life as well as in game. So... You know, maybe it was a bit of a mistake dropping him last season, but I think Hamilton's proven this season how good uh, he is and doing a good job at Force India. We've got three laps to go then. Um, we should have plenty of fuel in hand. If not, we can move it down in a couple of laps. Uh, but yeah, it's turned out to be quite a disappointing Grand Prix. Taking pole position, obviously Giovinazzi crashing has taken the shine off it a little bit. Um... Yeah, I think we would have settled for fourth and fifth or something like that. But uh, yeah, um, he's now having a look at Carlos Sainz on this last couple of laps. I guess Sainz's tyres have completely gone off. Perez came into the pits, by the way, so we, we're now up to third. Can we get past Carlos Sainz on this last lap? Um. Let's see, I'm assuming this, yeah, that, that mechanical issue is, is troubling him. And we are closing in now on Sebastian Vettel for the lead of the Grand Prix. Vettel's really slowing down and Kimi Raikkonen's through. Kimi Raikkonen leads the Grand Prix. We were da doom and gloom uh, a couple of minutes ago, but it looks like we're going to come through and win our first race at Ferrari. What a performance from Kimi Raikkonen on that last lap. We just looked after the tyres at the right time and, and we had them going into the last lap. Verstappen's finished second. Hamilton has finished a brilliant third. Perez down in tenth in the end. Uh, just unlucky his tyres didn't last uh, long enough really. 
but Kimi Raikkonen has won the Grand Prix. Verstappen finished in second. Sainz Jr., the championship leader, only down in sixth. He's had a couple of issues in this Grand Prix. But there you go. Kimi Raikkonen wins. Um, Verstappen second. Hamilton third. And we'll have a look and see what effect that has had on the championship. Let's have a look now. Um... Yeah, we're still in second, but only eight points behind Carlos Sainz Jr. Kimi Raikkonen looking to become a three-time world champion because, of course, he is the current world champion. Uh, Halton is up to third in his Force India, which is good. Uh, Force India fourth. We have now took the lead of the Constructors' Championship as well, so maybe we could do it this season. Um, but we're going to need Giovinazzi to book up his ideas. Well, then... What a first race at Ferrari. Uh, yeah, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. Um, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen's trade, dodgy neck. Uh, that's annoying. We'll have to see how that affects him. Uh, but we're making tons of money every Grand Prix, which is why we could afford... To go and splash the cash on uh, the facility. Let's have a look uh, at these um, neck issues. Uh, time remaining eight weeks. That's a lot of time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, who wouldn't want Daniel Ricciardo in their team? Too right. Too right. We could. We could theoretically get Daniel Ricciardo in the next couple of seasons but if you've enjoyed that make sure you leave a like down below it really does mean a lot for me and for the channel and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye